These are grits. This is what dried grits look like before. I, you, you boil them, I guess? Yeah, you cook them. Okay. All right. The white grits. And these are the ones we're having. Yellow, yellow grits. grits. A real southern breakfast. You just put them in boiling water? Otherwise, it gets clumpy. So you just gotta spread it out. Mm -hmm. Just let it. That's it. It just soaks up all yeah, that water. And I may add water. I may add more water on top, but I put mine inside. There you go. And that way it'll help it to not be sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Nice. And we cover it up and put it on the rope and let it go. That is breakfast. Southern breakfast. Southern breakfast. You know, it kind of just looks like breakfast with grits. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. The only I don't... No, there's right there. No, it's warm. It's warm. Do you remember that? So we are leaving our hosts. Um, the connection has been great. They have been super, super generous, super hospitable. And uh, we got to get back out on the road. So today, you can't really decide if it's raining or if it's sunny. But we're going to do some indoor stuff. We're gonna go to Baltimore. Uh, there's a really cool library, library, yeah, library, and a uh, and an awesome museum we want to check out. So that's our plan for today. Get up to Baltimore a little bit. Champ, are you having really big issues getting healthy? Just like squirming and worming all around. He misses being able to stretch out in that house. Are you trying to make Champ a hood ornament? I was using Champ to clean the car. Because oh. Champ, he wanted to get out, but he's like, come on Champ, we're in downtown Baltimore, we're gonna go to a library. Do dogs go to libraries? You can't even read. <gasps> what do you want to go to a library for? Champ can read. He can? He reads all the time. I didn't know that. Actually, I didn't know, I didn't know that he could read. So now, I, now I seem like the bad guy. Yeah. But he, just, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who knows how to read, you know? He reads the newspaper every morning. <laughs> I've never seen that, oddly enough. That's because you're always sleeping. Oh. You can't bang out yeah, is that true? Is it? Great. Ready for this? So when we leave Champ here, sometimes, especially in busy areas, we like to put up the curtain on the inside. You can have just so that, well, you know, he, it's not that. It's just that he's like a rude Gus, and he will totally bark at bark people anyway. who, like, come and look at the van and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is a this helps him just like relax. It's nice and cool in here. You can just take a nap. No, it's actually because you want people to be extra freaked out when they hear a bark coming because they don't see a dog. There's that too. <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland. I already really like this city mainly just based on the bridges on the way in. It's so cool. You're like coming in from the sky over the water and stuff. It's neat. Plus, I thought it wasn't that big of a city, but I'm pretty sure it's bigger than Ottawa. <laughs> so we found out about this library through Atlas Obscura, and it looks gorgeous. I'm hoping and it looks actually as cool as, uh, as it did online.
I like to go there because I can pick up books and sit and read them and spend hours there. Yeah. Which you can't really do here. It's no. mostly cool for the history. It'd be cool to get a tour of it. There's not really like any information or anyone telling you what's going on. You just kind of go in there. It's quiet and it's really beautiful. Maybe we'll have to do a tour one day. Yeah. Or we could just read up on it, but. That's true. They had an, an art piece by an artist who did a residency here, which was cool. So they made books um, based on the different levels of the library. So like one level has like biology, one has like biographies and they made these different books and they're really interesting. Like one's like a recording of someone giving um, a tour of the library with these images and another one's these like cyanotypes with like bits of books about clouds. So I want to look up that artist Mark Lu Zhang. Shang? Shang. Shang? I think so. Uh, yeah, and they, I think they graduated from their MFA here. And, oh, then, okay. and then they came and they did a, a year long residency at the library. That must have been something. a really beautiful city especially this time of year all the flowers are in bloom we just lucked out we came at the right time i love it that's champ when he gets to the park the other dogs are all like yo what's that is that a ball champ's like no my ball welcome to the baltimore museum of art free admission we're gonna go check out the contemporary show and all of their things, these dogs. That's amazing. Enjoy art with your eyes, not your hands or paws. <laughs> So in 1897, Andre Frankel and Strindberg took off from Dunnes Island in Spitsbergen with the intention of circumnavigating the North Pole in, an, in a balloon. Their fates were a mystery until 1930 when their bodies were discovered on White Island, uh, along with various relics and stuff, including this film. The point of this exhibition is to show, even though the film has been destroyed, it was developed after they found it and um, this is what came out the other end and you, and you can't see anything. It doesn't actually, they were hoping it would get to tell the tale of what happened to these three guys, but um, it, it, the film has been destroyed. So um, most people just ignore this part of the whole mystery of what happened to these guys, but this exhibition focuses on just the film aspect and how it borders on the visible and borders on the unknown. Like you can almost tell the story through the film but you can't really that's what they're trying to reach with this it's really cool
know, Shelby, I've been thinking. Let's go grab some coffee. <laughs> you like my puns? Come on, this coffee's not gonna drink itself. Let's go. I'm on the phone. I'm trying to reach Austin in uh, York, Pennsylvania. A fan of ours on their YouTube channel who's giving us room in his driveway to park for the night. You know, it's a weekday. Answering machine. It's a weekday in the middle of the day. It might no, be it's a Good work. Friday. Everyone's. A Hey Austin, this is uh, Simon and uh, Shelby from YouTube. Uh, give us a call back at this number. <laughs> I felt my phone, my my wrist vibrating. Oh yeah. And I was like, my phone's ringing, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, we got through to Austin, so we are going to go there. It's only like an hour away. He's texting us his address now. We'll see him tonight. It's always fun meeting with fans. They give you blankets for your patio. That's so cool. It's good. I don't know how they do it. There's no cut on the sandwich. They just hollow it out and jam meatballs and cheese and stuff in there. It's so good. Just like a big one. Mine's good. I got a steak sandwich. Steak. With garlic, aioli, and cheese. Grilled. Actually. Yeah, you probably could have gone to the coffee shop, but you know, now you can go to this park. <laughs> the park is nice. Are you ready? <laughs> leaving Baltimore. We're leaving Baltimore. We are heading to York, Pennsylvania. Goodbye, Maryland. Hello, Pennsylvania. They're wartime homes. They called them um, in Canada, I don't know if it's the same down here, but we called them shotgun homes. The joke was that they were small and narrow and you could, uh, if you open the front door and fired a shotgun, you'd kill everybody in the building. Oh, because it was just so nice. small. It's a bit morbid, yeah. All right, let's go see Austin. Like you never know when you meet people online. You, you just don't know what to expect. Other than they like your videos, so that's cool. They like our videos. All right. <laughs> so I met our host here, Austin, and his family. Really nice people. I love it. I love meeting uh, meeting internet strangers on the road. They always, we always just luck out. We just meet like the nicest people everywhere we go. Um, but we're gonna go tour around. He's got you got we got ice cream that's happening. I know that ice cream and a shoe and a giant shoe. Uh, I really person. want him to teach us how to be funny. He's a yeah, he's so a Austin's a comedian. So, so in this next section of video where Austin's in there, you gotta watch for everything he says because it's gonna be so funny. And I want him to teach big us pressure, to be funny. lots of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Medium. That is the delicious size. Medium. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself with this. So this is like Americana roadside attraction gold. Good ice cream, mini putt with weird fiberglass animals. Apparently there used to be a lion here. Homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream, that's important. Bears. Bowling alleys, Wait, bears. the lion was here? And it's because this is the Lincoln Highway, which I guess is like another Route 66. Is this the same era? Yeah. The same era as the Route 66? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. So, not exactly a big road. That's it right there behind me, but. You know, it used to be a main artery of America. I was just say, this is the first time I've seen squeaky cheese in America. Wow. 
They got everything here. Breaded homestyle squeaky cheese. And they call it squeaky cheese, which makes it like 10 times better. How's this work? All right, so these are the actual rules for bank shot, which we will probably not obey at all. But we're gonna have some fun. So Shelby and I are gonna play. Well, they're orange. That's a start. You're gonna give me the flat one? Well, they all, they're all like that. Look at this. Uh, all right, fine. I don't think they're like really- Flat really ball or good or... ball, I'll still school you. <laughs> okay, what are the stakes? If Next, I... oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. If I lose, I have to empty the shit tank. Yeah. Next time. What if, what do I get if you, if I win? I'll empty the shit tank, like I do every oh, wait, time. you do it every time, so it's not, <laughs> it's not like a... All right, if, uh, if I lose, I'll do the laundry next time. I don't, you mind, do I don't mind doing that though. Oh, come on. I hate doing <laughs> it though, so there you go. <laughs> okay, All okay, right. sure. I kind of thought the back plan. <laughs> I'm not uh, certain that this is entertaining. The nets are higher. Uh. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does it all mean? Did your little daughter take this long to get this in? No. 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 <laughs> Canada invented basketball. That's how embarrassing this is right now. We'll just stick to our respective chores and mutually respect that each other do things. And okay. that neither of, us, neither of well, us are any good at basketball. I'm pretty happy because I don't have to empty this shit tank. So. Can I feed this one? Like feed him dog food. He doesn't look as the weirdest looking dog I've ever seen. <laughs> look at his little lips. These are really cute though. I just look at like That is a big old shoe. Can you even see it? In I the can dark? see it. Look, it's got a shoe mailbox. So I get that people are like in the tiny house movement, but this needs to become a movement, the shoe movement. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. And it, isn't that nursery rhyme like about her abusing her children? <laughs> like every nursery rhyme ever that we teach them. Some, somewhere, song along the line, kids them, get and eaten. then she like beat them. <laughs> 